Hey everybody, welcome back to Xanima. Alright, so there's been another beta branch update, so we're up to 0.6.3.3J now. Okay, so, just to bring you back up to speed, we got killed last time, so we're back in the area with the gigantic beast. And we're only here to try to get some decent armor and stuff before we go back to the, the other area, the new area. Let's see. Now, I don't... As usual, I'm, you know, a little lost trying to figure out where I am, what's going on. Alright, so here's, like, this dinner feast room or whatever the hell this is. And then here is the round table, as it were. And I don't believe there's any loot in here. Uh, but we do have this locked door. And let's see about this side. Alright, let's... Hopefully we won't get jumped while we're in here, but let's switch to our torch real quick. And now you'll notice that there is finally something in a desk for the first time. And it happens to be the key we're looking for. But you'll recall I'm always checking the desks, and there's never anything in them. But luckily in this case, we got something. Alright, also have a chest here with some sabatons, which I will take. Thank you very much. Nothing in that cabinet, and... This is a velvet shirt. Who cares? Alright, now what's up this way? I don't want to go too far away and forget about that locked door, but what is over here. Alright, yeah, that leads us back into that hallway. Okay, let's close that for the time being. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so back past the round table. Oh, no. That's not good. Let's... Oh man. I really wish these doors would like stay shut, but this is not going to happen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so he'll take care of that skeleton for me if I can just get up and get past him. Almost there, almost there. Come on, please. Just close. That's not good. So now we gotta try and open this door as quickly as possible. Alright, we unlocked that. Okay, so we've bought ourselves a little bit of time here. Now this is... We're actually back in the main room. I didn't check this, but let me just check real quick. But we can actually go to the new area now, if I ever get unstuck from this chair. And don't need that. Alright, so we'll go to the new area now, and we'll leave the giant beast behind. Because I don't feel like trying to trick him into falling down a hole right now, which is basically the only way I can kill him. Alright, so here's where the... Ha this is how you get to the new area. Instead of going the old way, you just go here, through this archway. And we'll eventually end up going down a dark corridor, which will lead us to the new place. Alright, so for the most part we can avoid the golems here towards the beginning. And we won't really have to worry about fighting anyone until we run into some of those zombie demon things later on. As long as we can successfully avoid triggering the golems, which I think we can do. Alright. So this is the... I need to get away from that, so they don't come to life. That's the, the triple ribbon token. Which we would need to acquire if we wanted to keep those golems from coming at us. But it looks like we'll be alright for the time being. And here is a bathroom, of course. Gotta have one.
All right, so I'm just trying to keep track of where I am. I'm going checking out the western end of this area. So if I can just remember that, maybe in the future we won't come back here. All right, is there nothing in here? There's nothing in here. Um, is there? Yeah, there is a door down there. Is this the same as that other room? With just nothing? That's what it looks like, okay? Alright, I heard something. Don't know what it was, but I don't like it. Alright, nothing in that trunk. I wonder what that sound was. It sounded like a door opening or something. That's just a rusted plate helm, which we are not interested in. Basically, we're not interested in any helm until we find the guy with the socketed mask. And that won't be for a little while still. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. No other loot containers. All right. Okay, now let me reorient myself. So this is that room we came in. Okay. We checked out the west end here and there wasn't anything. Uh, why did I go so close to the golem? What is... what is that? That's the two ribbon thing. I wonder if I step through to that side, if the ones on the other side will come to life. They probably will. Well, th it'll definitely happen here. So there's the two ribbon thing. I think we can go this way without getting attacked. We'll run, just in case. Yeah, alright, they didn't come after me this time, so that's good. So we don't have any tokens yet. Uh, well, it's a bathroom, of course. Can't go ten feet in this place without running into another bathroom. People were obviously incontinent in this society. If they would have just invented some adult diapers, it could have saved a lot of room. Ah, uh, nothing in here. Okay. Alright, so let's see what's on the other side of this door. Okay, so we got some kind of pantry, storage room, of course. But with no loot. Well, that sucks. Nothing in those rooms. So let's go this way. We got a wagon. Big deal. All right. So this time, let's let's stick with this whole going west first thing. Let's see what's in here. This looks like another office or something. What do we got here? A damaged curus. Is that how you? Is, I know one of the viewers tried to explain to me how to pronounce that. I don't. I think it was curus, right? How it's supposed to be? I don't know. Another bathroom because, as you know, people are shitting themselves like crazy in this place. So. They figured, well, maybe if we make a bathroom, like, on in every hallway, we can, you know, put an end to this. I don't know. Empty chest. Now, I'm assuming in the future a lot of these empty loot containers might have something in them. But keep in mind that the devs said that there's a lot of incomplete stuff in here so far. But I figure most of that is, like, doors that don't open yet. Alright, let's see. I try... Even though I'm in the beta branch and always playing whatever the latest um, beta branch is, I try not to go read the change logs because I there's well there's usually spoilers and I don't I kind of like to be surprised, so I try not to read them so much just in case you're wondering like, so this is the the J update but you know what's new? Well I don't know really. All right so this okay so we went to the west nothing there. Empty alcove. And let's just check this first before we move on. 
Nothing there, and nothing there. Okay. So we're still hunting for a token at this time. Should have found one by now, I thought. Okay, so I don't see tokens on the ground, but that doesn't mean... Oh, yeah, never mind, there's the heater shield. How did I not see that? Alright, so we're not going there, we're going here. Oh, hell, I think they'll attack me if I run through here. Something tells me I should have had a spider token by now. What's going on here? Let me retrace my steps just a second. What could I have missed? I already checked this, right? Yeah. Okay, and... This is where we came in. And I already checked all this stuff to the west. At least I thought I did. I did, right? Yeah. It's a bathroom. I really sh... God damn it, I could have sworn I, I would have found one of the tokens already. What the hell? This doesn't make sense. I already checked over there. Hmm. Okay. Well... Unfortunately, this means that we're going to have to trigger some golems. Which is not what I wanted at all. That's not what I wanted. Come on, you moron. Alright. So if I go near this door, they're going to come to life. However, if I run through here, I think these other two on the other side of this wall are going to come to life also. Oh well. know where the damn token is if I missed it. Right, basically I'm just trying to buy myself some time to get get a little bit of distance here so that I can find a door and lock them out of wherever I go. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh shit. Well this is not working very well is it? It never is. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we bought ourselves a little bit of time and hopefully we'll be able to find a, a token or two because eventually those golems I th think will go back to where they came from. But maybe I have to get knocked out before they do that. Alright. Don't need that one-handed sword. Nothing there. Try not to trip on the chair. Looks like a particularly depressing waiting room of some sort. Uh, let's go this way. More of what appears to be in the private office area. This is where the professors had their offices, I guess. I don't know. There is a serious dearth of loot going on around here. We need some loot. Alright, more of this office stuff. Hey, there we go. Damn it! That's a round shield. I haven't even come across that room yet. But, I'll take it. So we got the round shield token, and these desks are not searchable, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm not... Hey, that sword's got a mind of its own. But yeah, if you're wondering why I wasn't searching that particular desk, don't want to go that way yet. Let's see... Wanted to go here. Nothing? Alright, whatever. Alright, so the, the round shield token, that's a step in the right direction. But I really expected to find the spider one first. I thought that's how it happened last time. What's up with all these open doors? This is freaking me out. Are there any closed boxes? No. We could also start running into the 
uh, demon type of zombie guys here pretty soon. So I need to stay alert. And there's nothing in here. Okay, let's go this way. Now I know what the room will look like that has other tokens. We obviously haven't hit that yet. Here's a lore room. And you can go ahead and rewind and pause that if you want to read the lore. We've already done so, so we're just going to kind of skip through it. But it's basically telling us some stuff about those golems and why they are why they're there, why they're reanimated, all that kind of stuff. Okay, is that, yeah, we already went through that door on the left, I believe. Alright, what is that? That's the round shield, right? Which means we'll be safe walking past these golems. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's the first piece of good news. Alright, there's a skeleton or something. So how much light do we have when I put the torch away? Oh, it'll be fine. Come on in. Let's not play this game. Come on in, fool. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Ah, beauty. Right. See, luckily he had no armor of any sort, so it was not difficult to bring him down. Now, I do want to switch back to my torch, but this tells us that we're going to start running into other enemies probably more frequently so I'm hesitant to switch right now as hard as it is to see oh man so labyrinthine so circuitous all these routes all these hallways I'm gonna get lost again oh well alright what's in here just a bench that's fantastic. Alright, looking for doors in general and loot containers as I kind of... Oh shit, rotate the camera around. I didn't even see this bastard. See, that's the disadvantage of not using my torch. Totally did not even see this dude. It's alright. Right. I don't want his... Oh, there's another one. When it rains, it pours, ladies and gentlemen. There's another one. That's one of those demon things. Luckily, there... Now, there is no luckily about it. We've been knocked out. We should wake up right there, though, so I don't... I didn't lose my sword. But hopefully I am alone when I wake up. That's the important thing. I don't think we'll have time to get our health back, but we're going to use a salve anyway, because I've got two, and that'll start eliminating some of this red bullshit. In the meantime, pick the sword back up. Did I already... I don't think I had a chance to search this body. Just a rusted plate helm. Alright, so now, of course, the question is, where did the demon thing and the other skeleton go? I don't know. Uh, let's see, maybe over here. I should wait for my health to regenerate, of course, but I'm not going to. Well, maybe I will, actually. <laughs> all right, and we'll go ahead and conclude this episode right here. I'd like to thank you all, as always, for, for watching. I do appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the series, and we'll be back soon to continue our journey here in Exanima.